YouTube. <laughs> According to my analytics, over 60% of you aren't subscribed. Why? <laughs> okay, we're live. We're live! We're live! Okay. Um. Bits. Yummy. Tip for you. Tibbetsies. Thank you. That one's yours. Thank one's you. Yours. Here you go. This is so nice. Chat, we were just talking about these as bait pouches because it's an ammo belt pouch. Yeah. But I use cloth ones and they get really gross because it's meat, but these ones are really easy, so yeah. I need to get one of these. Yeah. And they don't get stinky. And they you don't get stinky. One. You can take it home with you. Really? Do you have? We have so many of them. Really? They're yeah. like a couple bucks on okay. Amazon. Yeah, no. Thanks. Yeah. Yay. Um, There's your nice dirty bait pouch. Yay. Just for you. <laughs> I can take it on the plane with quail in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave a little piece of meat so that the dogs can sniff it out. Yeah. And then they'll check your bag anyway. Nice. Aside yeah. from all your wires. I know, Chad. <laughs> bringing a backpack, an IRL backpack through uh, security is terrifying. Okay, um, people are still... I don't know how many people are here because this thing is still broke. But um, we're here with Sammy and Anita, Sammy's mom, um, who run the falconry experience. And we're going to fly some birds today. We have... What is it? Three? Four? Four. Four birds. Um, you guys can tell. You want to. Oh, also, we, before we start, your tips today. If you want to tip Sammy and Anita or the Falconry Experience, um, their PayPal's hooked up. So that's that's where donos are going. Um, would be very appreciated. Oh. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. She's oh my God, so she's cute. Like sleeping. Wait, so this is Amber? This is Her name is Amber. Amber. Open, she's no, completely like blind in this eye, and then this eye is mostly blind. She has retinal detach. <laughs> she's, she's asleep. She's like, it's the middle of the day, peeps. Chat, this is a screech owl. Look at her blue dresses. How cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because we believe in fancy. Uh, anklets, sorry. And, well, at... and dresses. They're matching. She matches. Um, she would, came out of the wild. Um, and somebody found her because she wasn't able to hunt or fly or anything. Well, she can fly. She just can't really hunt because she's She can fly, but she doesn't know where she's going. Yeah, she's completely blind in this eye, and she's almost completely blind in this eye. Or maybe that's mm -hmm. backwards. I don't know. No, you're right. Yeah. But it's so cute because her little boyfriend, because she can't find the food, he takes it, and then he puts it on her feet so that she knows where it is. Chat, so there's nice your standards. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Goose, the falcon, mm -hmm. bows to you. He goes dip, 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 <laughs> to court you, and I'm like, whenever I find a man that bows to me, I'll that's, keep him. That's the one. He's the he's the only man that bows <laughs> to me. Find a man that'll bow to you and put dead mice at your feet. Mm. <laughs> so nice. When you lose your vision. I prefer pizza. But... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect. We get people close to birds of prey, get them to understand the role that they play in the environment, and then we um, get them close like falconers do. Like the flying and the being part of their world is like the most amazing thing to me. So we take them out, we introduce them to a bunch of different birds, talk about their natural history, and then we take a bird out flying in the vineyard. Um, it's a beautiful place to fly. So we get them give them a glove and they get to fly him and he flies back to their glove and he flies off again and the first time they catch him it's always like they go oh you're scared <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's hilarious and then um and then once they get it the first time they have a great time yeah then they become supernatural at it mm -hmm. but so basically people just get to become a, a falconer for a day and then after that when we're done we take them wine tasting <laughs> <laughs> yeah chat look where we are by the so way we yeah we get to we fly yeah. them through the vineyard and then we take them in to taste the, the fruits that they just flew through. Wonderful. Somebody asked why didn't the owl fly away? Oh, she has a leash on. Just like you would have a leash on your dog when you're walking down the street and you don't want them bumping into cars and stuff. We keep leashes on the birds that we don't want them to fly in places that we don't want them to fly or that could be dangerous for them. And since she's blind, she really doesn't you really know don't want where to fly she's away. going. <laughs> so, no, I would not end well for her. So, but bad. instead of putting a leash on the neck like you would with your dog because that's your dog's strong point we put it on their ankles which is the strongest part of their body it's actually right here which is weird um when you look at a bird's foot but it's way down here and it's the strongest part because that's what they use to like bash into their prey so um it works out great there you go 
Ranger. I know you haven't seen. I always forget how little he is. I know. He's such a good boy, though. So you can get a close look at how we leash them up. So this is his federal identification band, and then he has a little leather anklet, and then he has these. These are actually called Jesses. Um, and they go through, and then they have a little opening at the end that we attach a swivel and a leash to. But when they're flying, obviously, they don't have the leash on. Chat, does anyone know what kind of bird this is before Anita tells us? Because I feel like some people might. I haven't had them on my stream before, I don't think. But I don't think so. We have, we have talked about them before. The distinctive part is the reddish wing, the white stripe at the base of the tail, or the... Not an eagle, not a pigeon, not a cooper's. Oh, Gwiff, Harris hawk. Yeah. Yeah, good job. You. And they're the only social bird of prey in the U.S., which makes them great for flying with people that they don't know because they love to be in groups. So, the and he, he thinks fly. flying with people and flying around is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's actually also called a, a Harris's hawk. Um, because when Audubon was going out and, like, discovering all the animals... They all got named after whoever was with him. So this is Harris's oh, hawk. Oh, oh. Possessive. I can never say it like that. And Cooper's hawk. And Swainson's. Cooper's Swainson's. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of animals <laughs> are like that. It was like oh something that interesting. Frank Harris or something. Harris's yeah. hawk. Oh, yeah, I don't so like this that. Is, this Harris is hawk. Harris's <laughs> Harris's hawk. hawk. So you can see the three yeah. toes and the one toe. In the back. <laughs> Don't touch my toes. Don't touch my toes. <laughs> um, Rodney, thank you for the $5 tip. Crash and burn with the $20 tip. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you want to fly? Yay. Okay. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> so basically what we do is we just walk and then we follow the... Hawk walk. what we would do in the field to hunt with them. Yeah, well, I've never had a hawk out. I just lure fly my bird. Yeah, it's just so cool. So it is just cool. Kinda hops around. They'll go pull the pole, and then um, and then we usually go through the bushes and stuff, and we we'll flush out rabbits and things like that. And when we see one, we yell for him, and he comes down to try and catch it. God, the grapes look pretty. Ranger. And then he gets a little bit of food every time he comes back. Sam, do you want to tell them about abatement a little bit? Because you take Ranger, right? Yeah, so I take Ranger with me to do abatement. He's done a multitude of different jobs. Um, he's worked at in cities trying to keep pigeons away. He's worked at a um, resort called the Ritz-Carlton Baccara, um, keeping seagulls off of people's food at the pool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Yeah. Um, he's also worked at a compost plant where he keeps not just one or two seagulls like there is at the Bacara, but tens oh. of thousands. Thank you, rat. <laughs> he likes to buzz me when I haven't called him in. <laughs> um, keeping tens of thousands of seagulls off of the fresh food that comes in to be made into compost. Very cool. That's Sammy's job, chat sheet. Natural Pest donated, Control. I'll let you go with her. Yeah, Too much easier oh. than you taking Thank it out you. of your own pouch. Where? Chat, time to catch a bird. What a good bird. My gosh. He's... Yummy. And they're eating quail, or he's eating quail. Or he could play through mine. And yeah, that'd be him. cool. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get my glove off so I didn't lay on my glove. <laughs> so you just, th yeah, and then you caught one. And then I'll tell you, pull back. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. What a guy. There you go. Super duper. Thank you for the $25 tip. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. When we first started flying him out here, he had to learn how to navigate the wires. Yeah. And he would run into them all the time. We actually, at the zoo, used to have a peregrine falcon mm -hmm. that came to us from another falconer because they were flying it for abatement to keep the 
starlings off the grapes mm -hmm. and um, it came down so fast it clipped the tip of its wing off on a wire. No. Oh, God. And cut the entire wrist off. That's horrible. Yeah. Hi. You're a desert bird. You shouldn't get hot yet. It's like, like a big baby. <laughs> like I'm covered in down, people. So, basically, falconry based bird abatement is anywhere there's a pest bird in an area, so pigeons in a city, seagulls on a transfer station or at a dock or at a school or at a hotel or whatever. Um, it's just us using natural pest abatement with birds that are predators to scare those other birds out. Um, right now it's vineyard season and it's harvest season, so everybody, all the falconers are out at vineyards protecting all the grapes so that you have wine. So if you love your wine, you have to love your falconer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the number one most eaten grape is Pinot. They can devastate. Starlings can devastate Elmo an 800 acre dollars vineyard in like than three. three hours. Thank you for the five. Um, could we do one where, could, could you be like in the middle with the hoop so they can see him fly through it from a little further away? Yeah. And I can, or will that work? Do you want me to pull through? Yeah. And then you'll film? Yeah, maybe. You I'll just have that. to hold. Hold him on your glove until Sammy calls him. All right, you ready? Whoa. Isn't that crazy, chat? So cool. And when he does it, he throws his feet out in front of him. Yeah. Because he has to tuck his wings. He uses his um, so tail wait, as a Mom, propeller. Let's try and do it one more time. Come over here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to. No, no, no. You're going to come. Everybody come to me. Okay. <laughs> Everyone to me. I'm going to send him off. Stand behind me and chat. watch when he comes through the middle of my mom's arms because you'll watch him shoot his feet out first. Oh, okay, we'll try it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> wow, that was cool. That was a good shot. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Richard. That's the winery owner's best friend. Oh. He's here visiting from Alaska for harvest. They're nice. about to start harvesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. It's weird because this vineyard started earlier and is harvesting Oops. earlier than everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, look at all these grapes, Chuck. Yeah. You can see how, like, plump they are. Okay. Wow. Wine grapes. Wine grapes. Yeah. Oh wow. Camera. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> that is not for you. <laughs> My wind muff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like it's Beep. fuzzy. <laughs> Mouse. <laughs> okay. That was. I was like, why is he going after the I know. The I was like, what? Is he see his reflection or something? That but it was is this... not for you. It's not. Chat. Enough. I'm putting it in my pocket. It's not windy, but complain later if it's bad, and I'll try to put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool seeing his feet go through in slow motion. It's su it's super rad. Yeah. And we, the, we get amazed by it every time, and we do it every day. And the first time I posted one of the videos, it went viral, and the next day, uh -huh. the people were like, um, our housekeeper from Madagascar just told us about the video. Like, they lived oh my gosh. from Madagascar, and their housekeeper that was taking care of their house in Madagascar saw the video, and we were like... That's crazy. It's crazy to me how far we're like. The TikTok. internet's a crazy place, but TikTok crazy. is like another level. Yeah, I know. It's okay. bizarre. It's great for me because I have like zero attention span. Oh, and on Reddit. That's right. Oh, are we on Reddit? Didn't I thought? Yeah, yeah we you guys went viral on Reddit, on Reddit once. Times. Hmm. Well, there you go. There you so go. Funny. Nintendo was shot by Skeleton.